Hello students, once again a very warm welcome to Mizu study sessions. So in today's class, I will be talking about artificial propagation in case of plants. So let us have a look. Artificial propagation in plants. Propagation we have already studied. That is a growth of a new plant from an original parent plant. When it is done by those method which is developed by man, that is called as a artificial propagation. In this, we have a various examples like cutting, like layering and grafting. We will be discussing that. So, what do you mean by artificial propagation? That is production of production of new plant. from parent plant parent plant by by man made man made methods is is artificial <coughs> propagation hope you are getting that means we are using a different part of a plant that means we can use the leaves as well we can use the stem as well we can use the uh, roots as well so this is how we can prepare a new plant called as a artificial propagation in plant as i have discussed already so the three types of artificial propagation we have let's have a look first is called as a cutting cutting right second you have is a layering very interesting these methods are and third you have is a grafting <coughs> so first of all as you know i'll be focusing on the cutting part so, first cutting. So, what is a cutting part? In the case, the name itself indicates cutting. That means we will be using a cutting of a plant. Normally, we use a stem or a cutting of a stem. Let us have a look. Cutting of stem is used right and the cutting which is used that should have a bud present with them this should have have bud present then only it will grow otherwise it will not grow right so they are placed in soil placed in soil right in this case what will happen the lower part of stem listen very carefully lower part of stem it will form roots it will form roots they will grow and they will form various branching which is useful for the absorption of water and minerals whereas another part another part will form your stem and another that is a leaves and further modification will occur where the flowers the fruits they are also formed now in this case we have various examples so examples I have one example i am writing over here that is a uh, bougainvillea bougain <coughs> Vailia. This is one example, right? Bougainvillea. Likewise, we have many examples. Let's write example two. In this case, you can take an example of a chrysanthemum. <coughs> Even you know the grapes; they are also produced. They can be produced by this method. 
Also, you can take an example of a sugar cane. These are the certain examples. Like, right, in this various other examples, we also have like banana, like cactus. Let's write that as well. Banana, like cactus, etc. Is it fine? Now, let's have a look how these plants they grew. Just imagine like this is a part of a stem, right? And this part of the stem, this is having one bud present. <coughs> part of stem. What is this? This is a bud, right? They will be placed in soil so here these soil is present what is the name this is a soil right now what will happen the lower part of this they will develop into <coughs> let's have a look they will develop into the roots So, they will develop into the fine branches which is termed as the leaves. Right? This is present underground. In the soil, they are present. Right, and upper part they will also show the various branching and various shoots will develop from this side. Right, so towards the upper side, the shoots and leaves develop, whereas the lowermost side you can see that roots will develop. Roots develop. Right now, in this case, after some time, you will see that a plant has produced a normal plant has produced which is having so many branches present from where the leaves and the flowers they will arise very beautifully, and towards the lower side, there will be a presence of the fine branches which will increase the surface area for more and more absorption of the water and minerals. Right, they will be having these flowers, etc. present. Right, and the leaves also. This is termed as a cutting process. Termed as a cutting process. So, this is a first method that is a cutting. Let's talk about the second, which is a layering method. So, second, you know, layering. Right? In this, what we used to do, we used to take a stem from a plant and which is already attached. Here, I have taken a part of a stem. Right? In that also, we take a part of the stem, but that part of the stem is already attached to a original or you can say the parent plant and that is allowed to bend so that they can engrave themselves into nearby soil. From that area, they again, the, there will be formation of a root, there will be formation of shoots, etc. And original part from where it was attached to the parent plant that is broken down and once they are broken down, they will form an individual plant. So, let us have a look. So, layering, in this case, a part of plant, part of plant, I mean to say over here shoot. which is already attached to which is already attached to parent plant is allowed 
to is allowed to or is allowed to parent plant is bended and placed in nearby soil nearby soil right which further produces listen very carefully further produces roots and shoots right and one more line that you should write part from where it is attached from where it is attached to parent plant is cut right from where it is attached to a parent plant is cut now in this case also we have a various examples like lemon so in this <coughs> you have an example like lemon like guava your raspberry your strawberry all can be produced by this method also we'll see we are going for some new methods it's quite definite that there will be advantages of it yes there are so many advantages that within a short duration of time we can produce these large number of the plant in some cases the seeds are not produced in that case also such type of propagation they plays a very 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 important role and there is also one method grafting with which we can combine good characteristic of two plant that also we will be discussing so first of all focus on the examples so in this the example that we have is a lemon your strawberry your raspberry like guava you can take an example of a jasmine you can take an example of hibiscus hibiscus right now you will be able to understand this let's uh, have a look suppose this is a ground level on which the soil is present and our plant is embedded in or you can say the part of the plant that is embedded or the roots they are embedded over here so this is how a plant suppose this is a plant this is how suppose they are attached and on this as you can see the leaves they are present so many leaves are present right right so in this case one of the stem is taken and they are allowed to bend in a soil right here there will be a presence of roots 
So when they are allowed to bend like this, after some time we will realize towards the lower side the roots they will start developing. These are the newly formed roots. Newly formed roots. Right? So here what has what we have done? Part of stem bended right see from here what will happen the various branches they they will start arising like this various branches they will start arising and they will be bearing the flowers the leaves etc right now in this case after some time we cut this connection and so that the individual plant that can be separated. So after some time this part is cut right so that now we can realize that the two different plants now are present. Very good method which is in K which uh, the name is termed as a layering. So how to remember this? One of the layer is taken and that is planted into a nearby soil. After some time we will realize they will grow into a roots and various branches of the shoots they will also arise. Right? Is it clear to you? Let us move on to the next method that you know that is a grafting. So, before going into grafting, I would like to discuss that in case of grafting, grafting two part of plants are taken. One of the plant part is stem and another part of another plant is our roots. So uh, they are joined together and they are allowed to grow and once they will grow, they will be having a characteristic feature of both of these plants. So, before going into the next part, note this down, I will be back. I uh, hope you have noted down this. Now, let us talk about the third method. Let us have a look. <coughs> so, now I will be discussing the next method which is a uh, grafting. So, the third method we have is a grafting, grafting right. So, in case of grafting there are two parts taken, taken from two different plants. two different plants right in this case suppose let us take an example of a plant one and we have another that is from plant two right from plant one this shoot is taken shoot taken right the shoot which is taken is termed as a sion right another plant the roots are taken the roots are taken and this roots which is taken is termed as stock stock and shion right now in this case the stock which is taken that is from another plant and the shion is taken that is from another plant and after that after that both the parts both the parts are joined by cloth and cloth and polythene polythene see why this procedure is done so that whatever the exposed parts are there 
either it is of a shion or it is of a stock that should not be exposed if they will be exposed the chances of fungus infection can occur because these fungus they grow on a plant sap or they feed on plant sap so chances of infection is maximum so they are allowed to bound tightly right so joined by cloth and polythene to stop growth or of fungus see in this case one of uh, the precaution that one should take is that when we will see the shoot or the roots there should be a proper layer i mean to say the cambium should match with cambium and other layer should match with the cambium this we should take in mind and then they are placed in soil placed in soil and after that they are allowed to grow once they are given what a proper moisture should be given right after some time we will realize a new plant will grow that will having a characteristic feature or the fruits will be having a characteristic feature of both the parents so in this case the examples that we have is of a banana banana you can also do grafting of pineapple orange grapes etc banana pineapple orange and grapes grafting can be done so let's have a look how these grafting can be done <coughs> so as you can see in this case also we have is soil present right in this case one of the part of plant is having roots present roots they are having roots present this is how the roots are present right this is termed as a stalk stalk right another plant part is taken and placed above it right this is a shion shion so this is of a parent one this is of a parent too right they are bound tightly or let me use another color they are bounded bounded by cloth right and they are allowed to grow now in this condition basically there are many advantages of these procedure the first advantage is we can easily grow the plant in within a short duration of time so in this case the plant roots see the plant for which the roots we have selected they should be old enough or complete or you can say mature right if we take another plant whose shoot is young shoot young in that condition the seeds can be produced within a short duration of time seed can be produced in short duration right this is a uh, advantage another advantage is that we can combine characteristic feature characteristic feature of both the parent the parent another important feature is that 
this is not only feature of this part in fact if question comes regarding what are the importance of artificial propagation you can write these points as well so we can easily grow easily grow seedless plant seedless plant within a short duration of time we can easily plant them so these are the certain advantages of uh, three important artificial propagation first the grafting we have done the layering also we have completed and the first we have already done that is a cutting procedure right hope these three is clear to you now we have to discuss regarding the sexual reproduction and one more a small topic that is the tissue culture also very important mechanism so many research is going on in this direction where i'll tell you what do you mean by tissue culture etc but uh, that we have to discuss in the next session so till then take care of yourself revise all those things watch these sessions carefully prepare your own notes and do practice do start practicing questions as well so we'll meet in the next one thank you so much students for watching this